Sioux Falls has an underrated alcohol scene, and we're going to show you exactly why. Let's get sipsy, y'all. If you're new around here, I'm Sam, and this is my husband, Chris. In our last video, we spent an incredible week in Rapid City and the Black Hills. From delicious beers to sensational cocktails, we can safely say that we enjoyed ourselves. Yesterday, we packed up our RV and drove five hours east to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It's the weekend, so we are going to go ahead downtown Sioux Falls to go to some different cocktail bars. This is our second time, actually third time now in Sioux Falls, and we absolutely love the booze scene here. Lots of different things to taste and explore, so we're on our way down to go check it all out. Our first stop into town took us to the Carpenter Bar, our favorite cocktail bar in the state. Located in the middle of the historic downtown, Carpenter Bar has a classic yet innovative craft cocktail menu, which lets their bartenders really show off. I grabbed an espresso martini and Chris went with an old fashioned. Both were amazing. Our next stop is probably one of the most peculiar places. It's called The Treasury. It's a cocktail bar, and you're about to find out why it's called The Treasury. The Treasury might steal the show in Sioux Falls for an absolutely epic location in an old bank vault. Once you enter through the massive bank vault doors, you'll travel back in time to a 1920s premier cocktail lounge. If you've ever wanted to be a character in The Great Gatsby, the Treasury's decor and craft cocktail menu will get you one step closer. It was a tough choice with so many great options, but with the help of our knowledgeable bartender, we ordered a bourbon sour and a counterfeiter, which is a tequila-based cocktail that has orange, serrano peppers, pineapple, and lime juice. It was delicious. Our last stop for the night is actually going to be a tiki bar. It's one of our favorite, and they also have this incredible pizza restaurant next door. Once we opened the doors to Hello High, we were transported to a tiki bar far away from the dusty haze of the prairies. From wicker basket lights to a tropical fern backsplash, Hello High is an oasis in the middle of Sioux Falls. We share a space with a pizza restaurant called Pizza Cheeks, which you can order straight from your seat. How does one say, is it the humana 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 kua kua? <laughs> that was pretty close, right? Mm -hmm. With tiki drinks that are served on fire to all the classic cocktails, you'll be dreaming of the islands when you step into this bar on Sioux Falls Main Drag. Yeah, round two. Round two at Hello High. Chris got the... The rum old-fashioned. Old-fashioned, but with rum. Pretty simple. And I went anti-character for me, and I got a painkiller. I used to love painkillers. I it, really... it was our wedding drink, so it's not I mean, that yeah, anti-character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I do love painkillers. I'm just not feeling sweet. I'm feeling kind of salty. Not in, like, the I'm salty way. I'm just feeling a salty... Turner palette right now. You salty. You salty. You salty. Cheers. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Shaw's oh, blue. Who needs a painkiller? I love painkillers. Me too. Oh, they picked a light up one. See, she took a one. Do you want to go sit over there? No, I want to go get a light up train. Round three, coming up. We highly suggest going at happy hour as our total for four drinks is only $35. Wow, it's so bright out there, right? It's like super bright. Our first stop on day two took us to Fernson Brewing in downtown Sioux Falls. With a solid tap list, Fernson has a cool vibe and good beer with epically delectable burgers and fries. Don't skip this in our opinion. A few blocks away is Woodgrain Brewing, which is always recommended by the locals. It's easy to see why they have fantastic beer. 
Tucked away into a row of stores, Covert Artesian Ales beer is special and it makes you remember why you love craft beer. Using regionally grown ingredients, Covert combines seemingly common brewing ingredients to concoct beers that are truly funky, unique, and delicious. This is so good. He got it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm drinking the Itty Bitty Bon, which is a cinnamon bun and the coffee style. It's really good. It's really good. Directly across from Covert is Monks. This is a really great beer bar. They had a ton of different options when we were in. The last time we were here, so we're gonna go check it out again. With 50 rotating craft beers on tap, Monk's focus on both local and regional breweries has a massive list of styles. They offer flights, half pints, and full pours, which makes us a solid option when you want to try a lot of different beers but are limited on time to hop around. If you're looking for more boozy travel guides, head over to our blog. The link is in the description below. <laughs> hey, handsome! Were you snapping? Were you napping? Coming up next, we head towards Omaha and find an unexpected boo scene that should totally be hyped. Stay thirsty for adventures. Cheers, y'all.